Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a few product recommendations for you for the Sephora savings event. We do have a sponsor in today's video and I am genuinely so excited to be working with this brand and getting to spotlight these products on my channel for you. So today's video is sponsored by The Rudest. The products in this line have the proprietary blend for The Rudest, which is called the Root Biomic Ferment. And I think it's super cute. They say that the products are like kombucha, but for your scalp. So this is the dry shampoo powder from The Rudest. And as you can see, this is not an air aerosol dry shampoo it has a little brush applicator i really like that i've always complained to you in the past i'm very picky when it comes to dry shampoo i feel like a lot of times dry shampoos actually make my hair feel more dirty than it was to begin with i like that this is a powder so there's not any extra you know gunk in it and it doesn't feel heavy or like it's weighing my hair down this is also vegan and sephora clean so the dry shampoo love her she's amazing but i do also want to really quickly shout this one out because i am obsessed the pre-shampoo scalp clarifying rain like truly any just finicky scalp day that you're having if you put this on the scalp really take the time to massage it in leave it in for like 10 to 15 minutes after you wash your hair your scalp feels comfortable it's not tight it just feels like squeaky clean without actually being squeaky it just feels like cleansed in the best way possible it is the best like pre-wash routine to have put a little bit of this in your hair oh my god it's amazing okay moving into makeup i really wanted to focus on my favorite products that are like quote unquote newer launches or like newer products from the things that i've tried and really been loving so dior came out with the dior glow do you guys remember so many years ago when i did my sephora haul and i got the dior star foundation obsessed still to this day think about how perfect and amazing the dior star foundation is when i like see pictures of when i was wearing it i am like could they bring that back and i'm also not gonna lie the fact that this is part of the star line it kind of makes me like very hopeful very excited maybe they will bring back the star foundation i would be so excited so i love this i feel like it still kind of has that beautiful like lightweight texture that the star foundation had obviously this is like a skin filter so think of this somewhat similar to the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter I think a lot of you will be excited because this one actually comes with a pump. I know a lot of people are finicky about the wands and they don't really like that. Um, so I do like the pump. I love this. I think it's beautiful. I wear the shade number four. It's got a really nice warm undertone to it. Looks beautiful underneath makeup, mixed in with makeup, on top of your makeup. Really goes anywhere you see fit in your routine. Beautiful moisturizing product. Next up is the Tint and Protect SPF 50 from CL. I wear the shade number eight, which is medium honey. I have been really leaning into tinted sunscreens lately. I'm loving them. I think they're great for every day, especially like in the spring and summer. A lot of times what I like to do is just kind of wear the tinted sunscreen as like my daytime makeup, especially because like Luke and I have been in Florida a lot recently. It's just easier. I don't know. I've just been leaning into it. Obviously, like I still love good skin tint. I love good foundation, but it's like if it can be a double whammy, why not go with the tinted SPF? And this one really packs a punch when it comes to coverage. It's got a lot. And I mean a lot of coverage. Like you can really build this up and almost get like a full flawless appearance from it. I think it wears really nicely throughout the day. Doesn't cling to my dry patches. Doesn't emphasize dryness on my skin and keeps my skin feeling nice and moisturized. A lot of times I feel like mineral sunscreens over time, they get kind of like slightly drying, but I can wear this one multiple days a week. I don't feel like it makes my skin any more dry and I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. YSL came out with a waterproof version of Lash Clash obsessed it makes my lashes look so fanned out so long so wispy i think it's beautiful i do like that it comes in the waterproof option now because it actually holds a curl for my lashes for the entire day is this going to take the place of dior show i don't know but i will say i've been wearing this almost every single time i'm reaching for a waterproof mascara i've kind of been dabbling into tubing mascaras a little bit lately so uh, if I can avoid wearing waterproof all the time, I kind of will skip out on it. But I've been reaching for this way more in the past like three months than I have Dior Show. So it's really good. I love the effect that this gives. Really beautiful on the top and bottom lashes. And I love the way it holds a curl and it doesn't smudge or flake throughout the day. The two lip products I'm going to recommend for you are these Pout Ticket Real Overlining Lip Pencils. These are from GXV. I really like the shade Do Whatever. And I like the formula of this. It's not particularly dry but it does last a little bit longer than other lip pencils because it's drier so it's not like 
crusty dusty on her lips but it has enough dryness and waxiness to where I feel like it actually stays in place for most of the day I love the shade of this I think this is beautiful I would definitely repurchase this and I think I'm going to have to because it's not twisting up anymore so I'll probably actually restock on this during the sale I have also been so obsessed with this like I want every color I have three I'm only missing one but it's the Ula Henriksen pout preserve peptide lip treatments these are beautiful they actually smooth out like all the lines in your lips I love how full and glossy my lips look when I'm wearing this I wear citrus sunrise like all the time i think it's just such a pretty color and honestly if you are looking for a lip color that looks good with just like a little bit of lip liner i don't really think you can go wrong with this like this is what i'm wearing today just these two love the way they go together and i love the way these feel on my lips if you are as much of a makeup by mario master mattes fan as i am you know the master mattes original is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time I have been loving the Master Mattes, the neutrals. This is kind of Mario's way of doing a cool and a neutral. I've been loving it. I love these like creamy, icy, khaki colors on this top level. And I've really been liking doing cool toned eyes. I think it's because my hair is a little bit lighter. I don't have that great of an eye shape either. So eye makeup tends to look really bad on me if it's not on the more simple side. Like I just feel like you know six different eyeshadows on my eye it's never it's never been a vibe on my face and if colors are like difficult to work with or i just can't figure out how to use them i don't lean into those eyeshadows i am like a three eyeshadow max girl and i just i love the mario palette so master neutrals definitely worth looking at if you liked master mattes and then i have um one skincare product to recommend so this is the Caudalie vino perfect serum this is my second bottle so i really like this i think this has helped a lot with the hyperpigmentation on my face i have kind of been really trying to focus on that because i feel like now that i've finally gotten all that cystic acne i had for you know two and a half years or whatever it was um i feel like i'm just dealing with a lot of residual post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and i am i feel like i am noticing a difference from this it really for me has only targeted um fresh spots if i have something that's like a little bit darker or you know really residual i feel like i have to use um my prescription strength stuff for those things but it definitely helps with new pimples and preventing them from leaving as dark of a mark than without so i do like this second bottle like i said i think i would also get a third because i am super impressed with it so i will have all these products listed and linked in the description box i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this one bye